Hi, I'm Brianna with IT Supplies. Just a few months ago in August of 2023, Epson released an all new direct-to-garment printer, the F2270, which is the latest model to the number one selling DTG printer of all time, the F2100. Epson's big improvements to this new DTG printer are all centered around productivity. So they increased the overall speed, improved the DTF workflow, made some changes to the ink, like increased vibrancy and lower ink cost, and decreased the printer footprint to a more modular design. We've already put out some videos on what's new with the F2270 and the improvements it has over the F2100. So be sure to check out the rest of our content if you're looking for more information. The F2100s were released in January of 2018 and are still in stock and selling as long as the units are available. I'm sure everyone is wondering what the price difference is with these new machines. The F2100 is currently priced at $10,995 with the new F2270 priced at $17,995. Each may have a monthly rebate to tack on, so you can lower your cost. The ink cost is pretty comparable. The F2100 comes in at 36 cents per milliliter, and the 2270 is slightly better at 34 cents per milliliter. So our customers are asking which model they should go with, and we have customers who already own the F2100s who are wondering if they should upgrade. Now that we have an F2270 in our showroom, we're able to test the new model and the F2100 side by side. Today, we are testing out the print speeds and workflow enhancements, especially with direct to film, since this new model is a hybrid DTG DTF printer. To do this testing, we ran three samples on each printer, and we did them all in the highest quality preset to get the closest apples to apples comparison. Our samples were one of each a dark shirt, a light shirt, and a direct-to-film print. A lot of times people like to start the timer when the print head starts moving, but there's actually more to it than that. Operators know that the time to rip the image from the computer to the printer plays a big role in print speed. We are starting the timer when we click print in the RIP software, and the reason for that is because the increased speed of the F2270 mostly comes from faster processing in the software, Garment Creator 2, and the larger print head. The F2100 uses Garment Creator 1, and it cannot be upgraded to Garment Creator 2. Check out our time to print comparison table on the screen. It's clear from this data that the F2270 wins as far as speed is concerned, especially on light shirts. It was over a minute faster printing on light shirts. There wasn't a big difference on the dark shirts in film, but again, the software is different. So we chose the highest quality setting in Garment Creator 1 and 2 to get the closest comparison on times. We didn't make any tweaks to the settings, and if we had, we likely would have seen a bigger difference in time to print. Print times will always vary based on the size of the image and quality settings. As always, we recommend testing, testing, testing your garment to dial in the best setting for your garment. A new feature of the F2270 is the new GG2 ink. You will notice a difference in color, quality, and vibrancy. Let's check out these prints. Looking at the F2100 print with the highest quality setting, we are finding that some additional tweaking would want to be done in regard to white ink density, but the highest quality setting out of the box wouldn't need any tweaking for the F2270 for this specific garment. Whites are looking really opaque and the color is popping. You can especially notice it in the orange here. Now let's take a look at the DTF workflow. It has been really important to our customers to have DTF DTG hybrid capabilities. So we wanna show off what Epson has done with the F2270. First, let's talk about what they did in Garment Creator 2. A quick toggle option has been added to the software so you can easily switch between printing film and DTG. When you make that switch, the display changes to show how it's going to print. So you'll see a piece of film or you'll see a t-shirt. 
which means less operator mistakes. You can also customize your film settings just like you're able to with garments, which gives operators more control. In Garment Creator 1 with the F2100, the quickest way to switch to film is to create your own preset, but no changes will display on the screen. There's also just one setting for film, so no customizations can be made. Another great thing they added is automatic platen height adjustment. With this new feature, the printer uses sensors to detect how thick your garment or film is and automatically adjusts the height of the platen for optimal quality. Switching between shirts, hoodies, and film has very little operator intervention, speeding up and streamlining your workflow. This is especially great for film because operators do not have to remember to manually move the platen to the highest setting. Again, it also means less operator mistakes and therefore less waste and more savings. The F2100's platen is manual and has eight height adjustments. We really hope this video was helpful if you're trying to decide which printer to go with and if you are considering upgrading your DTG printer. We understand that there are so many variables when it comes to DTG and DTF printing. So if you have questions, please leave a comment below or call us to talk with a textile specialist. Don't forget to check out the rest of our content and like this video. Thank you for watching.